a lot of people don't really think about what they truly want who they truly want to be who they truly are people look at you from the lens that fits them the most yes. and then they put expectations they based off of their judgment of who yeah. they think you should be that's exactly what it is guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel as you seen by the title today we're going to talk about self-image but i'm not talking by myself today i have a special guest opsy you guys have seen opsy on my channel it's no? been a very long time yeah but it's been, it's been a really a long, long time thank you for having me yeah <laughs> you guys have heard me talk like a million times alone so it's good to have somebody come and share different their perspective a different perspective yeah don't get me wrong i like to do by myself but it's good to also hear from my friend's perspective like today we have obsi tomorrow we could have somebody else okay just stay tuned obsi has a channel by the way oh, yeah <laughs> I always forget actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But Opsi has a channel. I'm going to link it in the description box below. But what is the name of a channel, Opsi? Opsi Yang, simple and sweet. I'll leave it on the screen yeah. if you didn't Opsi hear that. Yeah. Because I don't know why she's shy. Self image is a very serious topic. It has different aspects. I feel like it's broad. Let's start from the basics actually. Let's talk about what self image means to us individually. How would you define self image? From the top of my head, yeah. I would actually say self image is basically how you see yourself. So how you view yourself. And and I was just saying earlier that it's not all about the physical, like it's the mental, it's the social, you know, it's also spiritual as yeah. well. Self-image is everything in one. Mm -hmm. So I would like to view self-image as how you view yourself or how you see yourself, not from anyone else's perspective, but yours. So yeah. how you view yourself and how you carry yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty much the same in your head, who you are. Yeah. Basically, to be honest, you can, you know, disagree with me. But self-image, for the most part, in our today world, today's mm. world, today world, the way we think of ourselves, so the perspective that you have of yourself in your head, nowadays, it's usually different from who we actually project yeah, into the world. that's very true. 100%. This video essentially would be how to spot that your thoughts and your I'm projection, your reality is not yeah. aligned, one, and then two, how you can actually change your perspective or self-image. I think the major problem is a lot of people have a perspective of themselves in their head but they don't live up to that but generally self-image is pretty much how you see yourself yeah. what you think of yourself who you think you are and in what your you head project as what, well. not necessarily what you project because how you see yourself is what you project not necessarily that's why i want to talk about self-image because most people how they see themselves isn't what they truly show to other people i feel sometimes yeah you might think of yourself as a certain kind of person but deep down if you actually sit back to evaluate who you really are or what you think about yourself is basically what you project because you can't really show what you're not or what you don't have mm -hmm. so if you sometimes you fake it to make it yeah so <laughs> yeah if, but if you go back to your house or to your room and you sit back and you think to yourself about who you really are that's essentially what you project but then i do understand that there are some people that will have to like fake a certain persona just to create an image but truly i'm sure they know that that's not really who they are yeah but i also feel like there are people who unconsciously project who they're not i think majority of people like right now who they project is based off of what people have told them that they are who people have told them they are or mm. people's opinions of them so they just kind of mold into that mm. and live by that but if they had the opportunity to actually sit down and really think about who they are and who they want to be they wouldn't actually live like that that makes sense so some people yeah. unconsciously live like that it's mm. not like they want to fake it some people are easily influenced by yeah. other okay. people's opinions okay. i could come here and tell you like obsi this is who i think you are mm. and if you don't have the strong mind you would literally take well, it yeah. you fall into that yeah. and unconsciously you would start to live like that you might not even necessarily deep it that much without you knowing you just start living like that i've been there that's what i'm saying i've been in that situation where i was living a certain way because of opinions and thoughts mm -hmm. and people's like you know one yeah. two three about like how i talk how i dress how you get those mm -hmm. like little things and then i see myself changing to like fit that to fit, fit that, that yeah. right but then truly who i am in my head isn't really that do you get what i mean that's mm -hmm. why i'm like some people can unconsciously just so it's not fake life it's just you don't know you're doing it but that's why i feel if you do that then you don't really know yourself for instance my name is opsy so ob obviously if i meet someone there'll be that opsy effect even though 
know somebody else can be answering obviously you but like at the end of the day there's it's this obviously is this obviously, <laughs> is, this obviously like, is this obviously effect yeah. is this lucy effect so yeah if you know who you really are and sometimes it's not really easy or it's a journey it is it's, it's a definitely long journey. Journey. what people fail to realize is that projection isn't necessarily about you mm -hmm. so yeah if i come to you and tell you oh this is who i think you are or yeah it isn't necessarily about you me, like yeah. it's about me my insecurities yes. do you get what i mean you could feel good about yourself for instance mm -hmm. i could come here and tell you oh no like just to take that light away from me not just because of you but because i feel bad about myself yeah so i want you to join me in my misery yeah it's usually projection of insecurity mm -hmm. from that person that's trying to tell you that this is who you are when that's not who you truly yeah. are yeah. do you get what i mean so it's just that awareness of what is true and what is projection projection yeah basically like and the only way to tell the difference is believe in yourself yeah literally believe in yourself i only say this the things that we seek and sort out from other people we can most likely find in ourselves like 100 yeah. percent, you can find in yourself mm -hmm. i think with everything in life even spiritually yeah most of the times we seek people for guidance spiritually like i had this dream for instance like i want mm -hmm. someone to interpret the dream for me mm -hmm. you have been given that power to do so i made a video about things you should keep private and the first thing i mentioned in that video was your relationship with god yeah right? i watched that yeah. yeah i had a lot of people that actually yeah. had different opinions i didn't say your relationship with god should be a secret so it's the same way i would say your relationship with your partner your significant or a boyfriend or girlfriend should be private but not a secret it's the same way i say your relationship with god should be private but not a secret i would always with my chest talk about god how yeah. that's who i believe in i'm praying and doing this yeah, but not necessarily my in-depth conversation with god and even with that i feel that because at the end of the day you have to know god for yourself yeah so that's the whole basis of it like <laughs> yeah know god for yourself because if i come to tell you my relationship with god you, you can't might replicate not, it yeah, and you might not understand you it, might not even understand exactly so, that's my point there's some people that wouldn't even believe that some things can actually happen but that's my relationship that's my god. relationship so how do i how do i convince you that these things happen there's some things i tell people like that have happened in my own life and you're like really did that really happen it happened to me and honestly you wouldn't understand it so yeah i can't try to explain it to you i just pray that god reveals himself to, to you, you in the you way mean, that you know <laughs> both way, of you yeah, will understand each other we're, we're diverting completely from the topic but i just mentioned that because i'm just saying like one of the biggest reasons why i wanted to talk about self-image because it's a pandemic it's something that we all can relate to it's something that we fight with every day like people don't necessarily share their struggles you only see the, the happy side mm -hmm. and the good side but a lot of us have self-image problems yeah. people have identity crisis like identity problems identifying who they truly are who they should be what they should be doing mm -hmm. right one big thing is accepting accepting, yeah. accepting who they are living their truth yeah. you know that's like the biggest thing and people even fear there are a lot of people that fear the image of who they really want to be do you get what i mean mm -hmm. a lot of people fear that i feel like 100 not okay let me not be dramatic but i feel like half 50 percent of human beings they're living in the standard way of standard, living yeah. this society so it's basically i have to talk this i have to dress this way i have to be this way i have to you know follow this career path it's the same way where everyone wants to be an influencer or a content creator because nowadays it's like what's trending if you're not a content creator what are you doing and if you are it means you're living the luxury life exactly luxury. so it's like like people are scared to leave their truth and that's the reason why i have that other i like to divert i have that series of things social media have made us think is normal but isn't really normal mm -hmm. because there are a lot of things that have been standardized yeah nowadays that's not really true a lot of people don't really think about what they truly want who they truly want to be who they truly are but people don't think about that anymore it's just okay what is generally accepted what will people like what does people want to see also goes with career as well mm -hmm. some people truly want to do some certain things but they're like people will find it weird with content creation people want to post some certain videos but it's like nobody will watch it yeah that's why i call it a pandemic we're in a crisis <laughs> it's actually a very deep topic, it's a deep way, topic. I, and i'm happy that i did this video because i feel like it's also it's something i'm also going through I yeah think we always go through we at all some point we in all go through because we grow we grow but i can tell you that where i was maybe two years ago definitely. it's definitely not where i am right now and where i want to be i'm not there yet yes so <laughs> i'm not there yet. i think we just have to get to the point where you are very confident in yourself the thing is there's nothing that you post on the internet that the in like they say internet doesn't forget yeah but people don't really care at all like, people don't really i say care. this all the time that's why i say to shut up yeah. about certain things because people would act like they care okay no you translate it as them being caring because maybe 
they are watching it or they are interacting it's like with all it. eyes on you it is gossip and simply entertainment to everybody you know when you said people project on you how they expect you to leave mm -hmm. i have also seen myself living a certain way because people just see me as this person that has to behave yes. a certain way yeah but really and truly when i think to myself on the kind of person that i am i'm just a very free spirit i just like to have fun so what you just said is pretty much people look at you from the lens that fits them the most yes. and then they put expectations should... based off of their judgment of who uh. they think you should be that's exactly what it is. Expectations, one of our biggest problems yeah. in this life. As humans, the best way to control your emotions and control yourself as a human being. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it, it will help you with your relationships with friends, your relationship with your significant other, your relationships with pretty much everyone in the corporate world, business, whatever. It will help you, especially unrealistic expectations yeah. of people. Yeah. You'll be good. Just live your life. Live your life. Life is oh already my God. Life is too short. Do what you have to do. See, there are some things that i've done in my life recently and i'm just like uh, obviously obviously <laughs> like we're doing this thing because like nobody's going to do it for you at the end, at of, the the end of the day no one is going to do it for no, you no you know there's something i saw on tiktok i think it was a lady that said live your life like no one is coming to rescue you yeah and truly nobody's coming to yes. rescue you yeah like the choices you make mm -hmm. the decisions is on you yeah completely live your life like it's you if you want to do some certain things do it because you feel like if you feel like doing it go ahead and do it there's some things that i did not do and i have not done because i was like ah, if i do this now what will people say what definitely people think of me? sometimes i even tell my dad some things that i want to do he's like no that's not you that's not and i'm just like what do you mean, do you mean that's not <laughs> for parents it's even quite different because forever they will only see you as that five-year-old they're oh, trying to they, they're trying to mold you into a certain kind of person. yeah exactly especially african parents yeah even if you try to be something else if you try to be what the society has said you should be your true character would always, always come out. out you can grow you can improve yourself there's a lot of resources online to help you take charge of your life take charge of your life take like there are books that will help you with procrastination there are resources that are available to help you for instance plan your day if you want to be a better person but at the end of the day your true core self will still, always, will still always be there and you should not lose it at that point where you finally even realize that okay i haven't believed in my truth to be honest when you even look back you just be like to what end yes what was the reason like it's time wasted. And you get tired. You get tired. One of the major things that you attract when you're not living your true self is people that are genuine around you. Yeah. One of the perks, I'll call it perks of being who you truly are is yeah. everybody around you genuinely love you for who you mm -hmm. are. Not the person that you yeah. have made them see. Because self-image and people pleasing goes like this yeah. hand in hand. It's very because easy. It's very easy to slip into. If you're the kind of person that literally conforms into everyone's perspective mm -hmm. of you, it's very easy to please so me now for instance to be like oh Opsi likes me this certain way mm -hmm. so i have to be this certain way to please Opsi. Yeah. and you are literally a different person to every single, single person, person that had an encounter with you yes so at the end of the day who are you fully it's such a stressful way <laughs> it's a stressful way of living be who you are yeah sometimes you get criticized that's normal that's life you learn the lesson and you keep it moving you keep it moving like, don't don't dwell on it don't say because you don't want people to say this you don't want people to say that because they will still say it. no matter what you do people they will Still always criticize say, they would always just talk. make sure that as you're growing you're always open to learning new things you will meet people always be open to learning from them if too. somebody is talking down on you 99 percent of the problem. time it is a problem within them that yeah. they are trying to project on you so you can actually feel the misery and pain that they feel about Facts. themselves Facts. about your own self <laughs> no that's just the truth because nothing can yeah. be wrong with you but because you're just too happy for them yeah. they want you to be sad just like them so that they can have somebody like a partner that will be hell, sad with that will be sad with them <laughs> so honestly that's what i never i always say to be like if you take things to heart you'll kill yourself faster than any other thing will kill you in this life you can't take things to heart it's hard though i'm not going it's to hard. It's, it's hard it's hard because because for you're, me, human. you're human you have you yeah because I, I i have yeah i'm quite emotional sometimes because i do a lot of self that self-reflection there is is a hell of a bad thing at the same time because, because you can completely oh, switch your life in you two seconds literally after a whole day you go back home and you're like ah, i shouldn't have said that ah maybe i should have said this <laughs> oh 
I should have done that. And what would that person now think that yeah. I'm a lousy person? No, like at the end of the day, we keep it moving because Definitely. at that point in time, you were your true self. You were actually your true unique nature. Maybe if I was in uh, having an argument with someone and I felt like maybe I wasn't giving the other person a chance to speak, I would actually want to listen to this to whoever I'm talking to so mm -hmm. that I can understand the point before I respond. To understand, to respond, and not understand. So to listen understand, to understand, not, not listen, listen to, to respond. Reply. Yeah, yeah basically. So, <laughs> so those are things that you can reflect on and then change so for future purposes, but yeah. not the one that okay. Ah, ah, the way I spoke, I don't know if I spoke the right English. I don't know. If Those I was are irrelevant things to so, actually, uh, honestly. Like, before we go, we're going to give you guys four ways that you could change your self image today. Now, the first way that I'll recommend is to first sit with yourself. Every new journey begins with you. You have to sit and reflect on your current position, where you are. Like, you have to sit and do the work. Like, spread it out. I always recommend journaling or sitting down and taking the paper down and then write the image that you have. So, pretty much much think about like who you are right now who you think you are in your head also think about your reality who you truly are on a daily basis right ask yourself two questions one do they align the person you have in your head and the person that you are on a daily basis on a daily basis how you live your life are they the same person to be honest 80 to 90 percent of the time they're truly not the same person that's the first step to actually realizing that work needs to be done when it comes yeah. to how you see yourself and how you carry yourself moving forward i would say that you should learn to believe in yourself believe in, i always say this even on my channel I, before anything else you need to believe in yourself because if you don't know but who is going to believe in you yeah you need to actually believe in yourself and trust yourself yes you're bound to make mistakes definitely like no one is perfect no one has or knows all the answers so be open to trying new things and just believe that you're on the right path obviously yeah. like you're not alone god is with you yeah <laughs> believe in god god is with you but just believe and trust that you're on the right track trust in your mindset trust in literally everything that you've decided to do the expectation of yourself the one you've seen in the future and <laughs> literally just trust yourself and respect your, and yourself and just keep growing yeah. yeah respect yourself and keep growing on that journey respect yourself enough to stick to the person that you truly want yeah. to be the third thing i'll say is to learn to detach from people's projection because yeah. that's a major thing people would always project we've said that a million times yeah. in this video so when they tell you that this is who you you yeah. are who they think you are isn't necessarily because that's who you are or you've shown them something it's what they chose to see yeah. and you have to always look at things like that and it's okay if they view it, you that way it's, and it's okay they view you that way it's okay, it's okay. You believe in yourself believe in yourself <laughs> when this happens it's usually around size yeah look yeah so whether they view you as someone who is big someone who is the physical is the physical which doesn't matter which does not matter <laughs> so learn to detach from people's projection on you another thing is you need to feed your mind with positivity yes surround Preach. yourself with positivity like it's very 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 important if you don't do that you are literally giving room or leaving room for the negative energy to definitely feeling. it's just like if you're hungry if you don't eat something you drink something like yeah. something has to go in because you're hungry so at the end of the day if your mind is empty like something would enter inside yeah so you actually have you have to be intentional in listening to podcasts in reading books you know in talking to people that you definitely. actually look up to i'm not saying that you should idolize anyone no but if you feel like you like the way somebody lives their life because let me tell you nobody's perfect at all. and everyone is growing so Definitely. don't idolize anyone don't even look at us like we know we're literally also on the journey we're on the journey well. i say that all the time i'm trying to like on the journey we're together so at the <laughs> end of the day you have to do what you have to do heck the word of god is also very 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 important it is important it is the, it is it is the most positive book that you can ever read in it's my opinion yeah. in our opinion yeah. because it's only the word of god that will literally tell you who you really are yes and that's what you should believe yeah you know because god God made you perfect nobody should tell you otherwise yeah and i'd like to, like to add that just be mindful of the language you use on yourself yeah oh, be yeah. mindful of the conversations you have about yourself in your head yeah because it sticks our mind is powerful so is our tongue yeah. what you say about yourself how you think of yourself sticks yeah. you might think it's the most flimsy or light thing that you're doing or saying at that time but moving forward it begins to be your reality you yeah. begin to you live accordingly you believe in it unconsciously so yeah. Yeah, yeah. So be mindful. If you tell yourself I am fat, you will feel fat. <laughs> feel fat. It's the truth. I if you tell, tell yourself you. I am ugly, you will feel yeah, ugly. Yeah. If you tell yourself I am not worth being in this space because I don't think I am, you know, worth it. worthy or or big enough or good enough or good as I the people that I, well I, don't think, I don't think I automatically 
you will feel that way and the bad part of it is that people will also begin to see it because when you feel a certain way based off of your thoughts mm. people can feel it it's energy it's yeah. vibes so if you're a confident person trust me people feel it people smell it when you walk into a room presence yeah presence if you're confident the same way you be gentle with how you speak to other people on the street and you're kind to other people be kind to yourself please yeah, be, be kind, kind and soft with yourself you're because doing well you're doing well i always say this channel you're speak light well. and life into your life and trust me you move accordingly you're it will happen well. like that you tell yourself i am where i'm supposed to be yeah and i'm headed somewhere and i will get there and trust you me will. yeah you will it doesn't matter how long but you get you there. will get there i'm destined for greatness i am the sexiest human being on this planet Trust me, you are. But this opinion matters. It doesn't matter. It's, it's what, what you think you of yourself. yourself. Yeah. That's what matters. That's what stays. Now, I'm going to close this off by reminding you or telling you to be consistent with this new self image you have built, you have decided to embark on. Embrace it with grace. When you step outside, yeah. you walk like her, you talk like her, you live like her. You are intentional yeah. with this new self image that you have created. So, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It, at least you took a thing or two actually hoping you did because this video i is a topic that i feel like everyone needs to talk about it's not just a topic that you start and finish today it's Come ongoing on let me know your opinions in the comment section it's always good for us to have a chit chat as yeah. usual i'll be there too <laughs> thank you so much Austin, thank for you being for on my channel me. i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you had me. fun i definitely did no <laughs> i like i said i'm feeling very empowered I hallelujah <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> her Instagram, her YouTube, and anything else in the description box. Below. Yeah. Follow and subscribe. Please subscribe to my girl. Anyway, I'm also going to have <laughs> my Instagram, my TikTok, everything, everything linked in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for the support and love as always, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Those of you that are listening in your car, at your job, you at home, I don't care where you at. Turn this up right now, cause we're about to go in. Hey, so everybody say.